and welcome to another booktube video from me lauren from lauren and the books how are you all today is sunday happy sunday uh, it's mother's day happy mother's day to all you mothers out there um and today i am doing a book haul so because there was a lot of snow i don't know if anyone's ever mentioned it um a couple of weeks ago i feel like a lot of my um my book posts that i was expecting got pushed back a little bit and they're still the post people post people are still catching up now so i've got quite a few books to show you here but i know i've got more coming so i thought maybe the best thing to do this month would be to do potentially two book hauls one at the beginning and one at the end so blah 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 let's get started on it so the first lot i want to talk to you about are ones that i've recently mentioned um in my 100 page book video i will link that video down below um but these are um these are a selection of um penguin modern little books that are around 50 pages they've bought out i think Thing. let me have a look how many they bought out 50 they're all a pound each which is amazing um and they're all amazingly exciting titles but however as i said i've talked about them loads before i don't want to keep putting you through it i'll read you the titles to show you what i've got so i've got the missing girl by shirley jackson the breakthrough by daphne du maurier this is that was obviously the first one i picked up the custard heart by dorothy parker that was completely a title by custard uh living leaving the yellow house by saul, saul bellow Notes on Nationalism by George Orwell, Letter from Birmingham Jail by Martin Luther King, and Africa's Tarnished Name by Chinua Achebe. So these are, um, as I said, all little books that are under um, 100 pages. I'm thinking um, these are going to be my new bath reads, because I could quite easily read uh, 50 pages in a bath in, in one moment. So those are um, my bath reads. So those, very exciting pound each bargain uh the next um ones i've got are a lovely little package i got from wordery to celebrate international women's day um they were really really kind to send me first of all a pen that's not even the highlight guys but there was a pen you know when you get a biro and it only has to be a cheap biro but then when you use it it writes really beautifully and you're like oh this is lovely that was this pen beautifully written uh then i also got sent uh, we should all be feminist by chimamanda and gozi adiche i already own this but this is like an amazing text i must watch and re-watch the ted talk um this is um adapted from chimamanda and gozi adiche's ted talk that she did called we should all be feminist this is a favorite of mine and it's also sampled in a beyonce song called flawless flawless yeah it's in there uh, they also sent me one of the vintage minis which i also adore these are three pound fifty i've got this will be my third one now this is summer by laurie lee i read um cider with rosie by laurie lee when i was in year nine at school when i was a mere 13 years old and i feel like um at the time i was a bit begrudgingly doing it because when you do a text to death um over like a six month period i was like ugh. but i actually feel like that's something i'd really enjoy now so this is selected from cider with rosie so it'd be nice to read this and then to revisit and just find out if i did enjoy it as much as i, I remember i do and then they also sent me a lovely little notebook um here which i'm very very excited about with nice red end papers a breton notebook so thank you very much to the peeps at wordery who sent me that that was very exciting i also have um a new a sample um from cecilia ahern's new book called raw which is out in 2018 um 2018 it is 2018 november 2018 and they sent me some fun little raw badges too which i might even put on now you can't see that it's on i promise um so yeah this is i haven't even really looked what this is about so cecilia Ahern um is a uh, a women's uh, a women's fiction writer oh these are nice so these are little um these are little postcards that I got sent with it as well. It says, the woman who encouraged me, the woman who made me feel brave, the woman who inspired me. Um, so, yeah, and they sent me this on International Women's Day. So let's have a little look and see what it says. Oh, wow. So... It says here, 30 women, 30 stories. Each, each story is titled The Woman Who and deals with the different facets of women's lives. The stories are humorous, moving, surreal and capture the moments these characters are overwhelmed by guilt, confusion, exhaustion, frustration, intimidation, nostalgia and the private moments when they feel the need to roar. Each woman's roar is internal. Each roar is the discovery of their voice and the realisation that they hold the power to make the change for themselves. Oh, this is exciting. So Cecilia O'Hearn says, Raw has been my passion project for some time. I wrote the first story almost five years ago. And so it's been a long journey to travel from the imagination to the page. And I enjoyed every second. So in here, let's see. So there's going to be 30 stories in the finished one. Uh, the first one's um, entitled The Woman Who Slowly Disappeared. Oh, I'm really excited about this. I think it's got four in there. Let's have a look. Oh, no. I just saw six, seven. 
seven of the short stories of the 30 will be in here. Um, that is a really, really exciting little thing. So yeah, I'll definitely be reading that little sampler. So how lovely, how exciting. Another bath book, another bath book. Put me raw, but there. And then uh, the last one I've been sent, um, no, and then another one I've been sent by the publisher is The Eight Mountains by Paolo Cognetti. Um, this is published by Harvey Seckel. Um, Harville Seeker. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't even say that. Um, this is about two young Italian boys uh, from different backgrounds and they meet in the mountains every summer and then it sort of evolves into the men that they grow to be. Um, so yeah, this is, it really, it's supposed to be like, a, it's described as a modern Italian masterpiece um, and I thought that sounded really, really nice and yeah, I just um, feel excited to read a book about people growing up in the mountains and things like that so that's exciting the next two are two that i have bought um the first one is almost love by louise o'neill i've been really really excited about this and it came out on the first of march which was like at the height of snow time um and every single bookshop i went into they were like no we haven't had any deliveries no we haven't had any deliveries and even last week when i was in liverpool for simon and chris's wedding i went into um, some bookshops there and um they were like no we haven't had any deliveries so in the end i ended up buying it online so it arrived um, on Thursday and um, I need to get around to reading it however I am um, sort of working my way through the, the uh, women's prize long list at the moment not like reading all of them I will link my video down below about my women's long list prize but um, I don't know when I'm gonna find a hole to read this and I really want to read it but um, this is the sort of thing that I want to just dedicate myself to so Louise O'Neill is um, ordinarily a YA author she's written two books both of which I've really enjoyed um, called asking for it and uh, only ever yours this is her first adult novel and it's called almost love and it's about a, a young girl called Sarah who falls in love with a man called Matthew who's 20 years her senior um, all of her friends and family are worried and um, they're he doesn't treat her very nicely and she's sort of gripping to whatever he gives her in, in a way that it's it's almost love it's enough for her because she just wants to be with him um and yeah um i i really i, re I really really like louise o'neill's um writing and the, the the two previous books that i've read of hers particularly only ever yours really got me thinking and i found them really really um amazing so this i'm really really looking forward to it and actually I, I run an online book club with some friends and i feel like maybe this will be the one that i pick next month um for them to for, for, as the read because um, I feel like this will be a really good one for discuss we read only ever yours um, during book club before so I feel like this is quite a good one so yeah very 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 much looking forward to that um, and then the next one I bought myself I bought paper girls volume two from um, Forbidden Planet in London uh, my sister and I bought my dad for Christmas tickets to the Harry Potter um, and the history of magic exhibitions so we went up there and then while we were there I took them to a few of me old haunt, my favorite haunts around that area um, one of which being um, uh, Forbidden Planet. Um, I bought, I, David bought, uh, Mini bought David for Christmas, volume one of Paper Girls, after I'd watched a video um, talking about um, if, if you like Stranger Things, these are books you might like. David loves Stranger Things, I've never seen it, but I read the first volume on Cozy Reading Night, and after I finished it, I read it in about an hour, I really, really loved it, and I was like, oh, I must know what's, what's going to carry on. So I bought the next volume, um, and I'm eagerly looking forward to... Um, to, to read in that so very excited so yeah I don't know how many volumes there are in 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 total but very much excited and I really like the artwork in it and yeah it's like 80s retro fun four girls amazing really really enjoying it so the last one I've got is one that has kindly the publisher contacted me and have kindly um, sponsored this video um, I have got here wizards and robots by will I am and Brian David Johnson look at that disco 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 um, will I am actual will i am um is is the author of this and a um, a guy that he used to work with at sony now coincidentally david and i went to the penguin platform christmas party last at the end of last year and um david picked this up and they they were had like um books that they were, were going to be coming out this year and david picked this up david's quite a big fan of um of ya they're, they're sort of like his his favorite books and he saw this and thought oh that'll be very exciting so when i was contacted earlier this year to um earlier this month to ask if um i'd like to feature this on my channel i was like oh actually we We've already got this one but yeah i'd love to see the finished copy and look at it it's like disco party time and what david and i are thinking of doing before i even tell you about the book what david and i are thinking of doing is potentially a buddy read i've never done a buddy read with david before and i feel like it'll be really exciting so i don't know which one he'd pick i bet he'd pick this one this is the better one isn't it maybe i'll just offer him this one um 
and yeah, we're gonna um, we're gonna potentially buddy read this. So um, maybe we'll do that um, if anyone else wants to join in as well. Maybe we'll do that at the end of of this month or the beginning of next month. But anyway, never mind David and I's reading plans. Um, this is a book here. It says on the back, "Hidden for centuries, a wizard clan awakens, hungry for power. In the future, robots fight a losing battle against a vicious enemy. Both are looking for a young woman. Her name is Ada Luring." So I really like books where a woman or a girl character is at the centre of this, and that feels exciting to me. There's actually more information about it on the back of the proof so I'll read it further here it says here Gela a young wizard escapes from his ruthless father with a message for a human teenager her life is in danger Kaku a daring robot desperately searches for help to prevent the planet's de destruction Ada Luring is a normal 15 year old until Gela and Kaku arrive on her doorstep and her world changes forever Ada is the key to changing the past and securing the future if she can get wizards and robots age old enemies to work together but she doesn't have much time before a greater common enemy launches its attack on earth that is literally like like David's favourite thing. So I feel like David and I are going to really enjoy doing a buddy read of this. Um, when they sent me this and um, and asked me to feature, they said that um, what Will I Am had said that although um, technology and its advancements are really, really exciting, um, there is always an element of danger that things are advancing just quicker than we can keep up with. Um, and that's the sort of message behind this. So I just feel really excited to first of all read something by Will I Am. And um, yeah, I just feel like that's a really good sort of premise for a book. Something else I really liked about it is that the acknowledgements leaping straight away to the back the acknowledgements are done in binary which i just feel like is a really nice little technological touch in there i really enjoy that so those are the, that's the last book that i wanted to feature and there's my second one so let me know if any of you guys have read this or are interested in this i'd be interested um and yeah if david and i end up doing a buddy read um let us know david like david will not mind me saying this he's quite a slow reader compared to me so i'd have to sort of um maybe we'd, we'd do like a chapter a day or something to see how that goes so those are the books that I got my hands on so far in March. As I said, there probably will be another book. There probably will be another book haul at the end of March, just because the post is catching up with itself, and I've ordered quite a lot of things. But um, those are the books that I read. What have you guys uh, not read? I haven't read those yet. Those are the books that I've um, got my hands on recently. What have you guys been getting your hands on? Any of these books would be really interested to hear from you. And I will see you all again soon for another booktube video.